students, how are you today? I hope you are doing well and good. I am your teacher, Teacher Shelley. Welcome to another day of learning opportunity. As well as give you an overview of what you can expect from this lesson. In this lesson, you will learn the definition, types, and factors affecting the motion of the projectile. Additionally, you will be given the opportunity to investigate the relationships between the projectile angle, the height, and range of the projectile motion. So are you ready? Let's start our learning adventure today! Before we start, I would like to know if you feel comfortable on what you learned from the previous lesson. Can you complete the statement? What did you learn that you love in the previous lesson? The motion in two dimension. Great! You are now ready to move on to the next lesson. Arrange the jumbled letters to form a word that best describes the statement. Five seconds frame is given to answer every statement. So are you ready? Let's begin! The horizontal distance achieved by a projectile. The correct answer is Range The rate of change of its position with respect to a frame of reference. The correct answer is Yes, velocity. The highest vertical position along its trajectory. The correct answer is Hi! Good job! The figure formed by two rays meeting at a common endpoint and measures in degrees using a protractor. The correct answer is Angle the Path of Projector The answer is Trajectory What is projectile motion? It refers to the motion of an object that is thrown or projected into the air at an angle. Also, a combination of horizontal and vertical motions that are completely independent of each other. And what are the two types of projectile motion? How do they differ from each other? Projectile 1, body launch horizontally. Projectile 2, body launch at a certain angle. A projectile launch horizontally has no initial vertical velocity. Its vertical motion is identical to that of a dropped object. The downward velocity increases uniformly due to gravity as shown by the vector arrows of increasing lengths. The horizontal velocity is uniform as shown by the identical horizontal vector arrows. A projectile launch at an angle has a constant horizontal velocity that moves in the same direction as the launch. The acceleration is zero. The upward positive vertical velocity component that is decreasing in magnitude until it becomes zero at the top of the trajectory but because gravity makes it accelerated downward at a rate of 9.8 meter per second squared, it will start to descend with an increasing negative vertical velocity until it is stopped by something. So as the projectile moves forward, Horizontally with uniform velocity, its vertical velocity is also accelerated, creating 
a trajectory that is a parabola. There are main factors that affect the trajectory of an object or body in flight. The projection angle, the magnitude of projection velocity, and height of projection. Now, let us have an activity. Are you ready? Using the projectile motion simulation and data from the table, investigate how angle and initial velocity influence the maximum height reach and the horizontal range of projectile motion. Trial 1 Angle 30 degrees Initial velocity 30 meter per second Maximum height 11.50 meters Horizontal range 79.46 meters Trial 2 Angle 45 degrees Initial velocity 30 meter per second Maximum height 22.9 meters Horizontal range 91.74 meters Trial 3 Angle 70 degrees Initial velocity 30 meter per second Maximum height 40.50 meters Horizontal range 58.99 meters What variable will you change to get the maximum height and horizontal range? The maximum height of the projectile depends on the initial velocity of the projectile and the angle of projection, while the horizontal range of the projectile depends on the initial velocity of the object. Do you think the angle of the object will affect the height of the range? Yes! The maximum height of the projectile depends on the initial velocity, the launch angle, and the acceleration due to gravity. And for the range of an angled launch, projectile depends upon the launch speed and the launch angle. What angle do you think will give you the maximum height value? and horizontal range value. Increasing the launch angle increases the maximum height while the maximum range from the projectile motion with no air resistance is 45 degrees. What is the relationship of angle to maximum height reach and horizontal range? Alright, now can you complete the statement? The relationships between angles and the height, as the angle increases, the height also increases or decreases? Yes, increases. Good job! Next, the relationships between the angle and the range. If the angle is less than 45 degrees, the range is increasing or decreasing correct increasing if the angle is greater than 45 degrees the range is increasing or decreasing very good decreasing and last the maximum range is achieved if the projectile is fired at an angle of Five degrees. Awesome!
how do the concepts of projectile motion relate to other sports? And what are the other situations in their lives in which the concepts of projectile motion might be important? Remember, in real life, the projectile motion finds applications in sports. Playing basketball, football are examples of projectile motion in real life. While throwing basketball into the basket, the player shoots the ball in such a way that the flight taken by the ball is in the form of parabola. If you are a thrower, long jumper, basketball player, or any other athlete whose sports involves objects in flight, these principles about the effects of force on angle, height, impact, and spin can help you. Now, do you understand the projectile motion? How about the relationships between angle, height, and range of projectile? If you do, you are such an amazing student! At this time, let us have a recap. A projectile is any object thrown horizontally or vertically upon which the only force acting is gravity. Projectiles travel with a parabolic trajectory due to the influence of gravity. The maximum height of the projectile depends on the initial velocity of the projectile and the angle of the projection while the horizontal range of the projectile depends on the initial velocity of the object. The relationship between angles and the height, as the angle increases, the height also increases. Relationship between angle and the range, if the angle is less than 45 degrees, the range is increasing. If the angle is greater than 45 degrees, the range is decreasing. Maximum range is achieved if the projectile is fired at an angle of 45 degrees. Now, let us assess what you have learned from today's lesson. Are you ready? Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's begin! Number 1. When do we get maximum height in a simple projectile motion? A. When angle is 45 degrees. B. When angle is 60 degrees. C. When angle is 90 degrees. D. When angle is 0 degrees. Let us now check your answer. The answer is C. Correct. Number 2. What angle of projectile is the horizontal range minimum? A. When the angle is 45 degrees. B. When the angle is 60 degrees. C. When the angle is 90 degrees. D. When the angle is 75 degrees. Let us now check your answer. The answer is C. Correct. Number 3. The path of a projectile is known as its A. Straight line B. Trajectory C. Parabola D. Curve Let us now check your answer. The answer is B. Correct. Number 4. What factor or factors affect how far a projectile will land? A. Angle B. Initial velocity C. Both angle and initial velocity D. None of the above Let us now check your answer. The answer is C. Correct. Number 5. 
which two angles will produce the same range? A. 35 and 65 degrees B. 45 and 15 degrees C. 40 and 60 degrees D. 30 and 60 degrees Let's now check your answer. The answer is D. Correct! Will you be able to answer all the questions? You did a great job! For your assignment, I want you to answer the assigned activity in your Science Pivot Learner's Packet or link. I hope you enjoy our today's lesson. Once again, I am your science teacher, Teacher Shelly, leaving you this quote by Vishal Kumar. Life is like a projectile motion. How much hard work you will do as maximum velocity, then it will have maximum height as success. Always remember, science is awesome. Till next time, bye!